hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make an easy a-line uh, jacket so i'm going to be lining my jacket and i'm using an african printer fabric this is a leftover from an another tutorial that i made uh, before so this is the leftover fabric and I, that i have i decided to use it to make this jacket so this will be my lining piece first thing that we're going to do is cut out two panels one for the front and one for the back and i use the biggest measurement of my body which is my hip so i have my hip divided by four plus four inches the seam allowance and ease and that's what I did and I got 16 and I folded my fabric and cut that out so now after that on the shoulder measurement on the shoulder line measure out your shoulder mine is 8 inches plus half inch for joining the shoulders together and I mark it there on that shoulder line I came down by 9 inches which is my chest line this is where I place my bust measurement and then at the end of the shoulder line i come down by one inch so we're going to be creating a shoulder slope and then at the end of the folded edge measure out three inches and mark it right here plus three inches so this is for the front neckline so it's going to be three inches by three inches okay so using your ruler connect that three inch end of that three inches mark to the um one inch as low then i use my french curve i marked out my um or you can use your hand and create the neckline you know round neckline v or v neckline if you wish like that for the back is going to be three inches by um one inch just a little bit we're going to cut out for the back so after that the next thing that you're gonna do and then at that one inch as low you place your tape measurement and then you fold it like this to get your midpoint which is what I did here then on my on my uh, that chest line I will place my bust divided by four which is nine and a half inches plus two inches same allowance so that gives me that gives me 12 and a half then i use my french curve again where you mark your bust measurement you place it like that to meet the midpoint that you created right here all the way to the end of your shoulder line then you create your armhole like this all right so that's it then then at the end of the at the end of where you made the armhole then you're gonna use your ruler remember we already determined how you, we already determined the wide, wide, wideness of this jacket by using our um by using our uh, hip measurement to get the amount of fabric that we need so all i have to do is that you know to create the a line you place that here and go all the way down to the end of your fabric like that all right and then at the end edge of where you made that mark which is right here gonna come up by one and a half inch go up by one and a half inches like this because i don't want the end to be sharp so i'm going to just create like a curve to meet the rest of this to meet the rest of the my fabric so you create your curve like this okay 
and you're basically ready to cut the fabric out so the first thing that you're gonna do is cut out this for the back this is gonna be for the back first and then for the front neck for the front armhole where you made the midpoint you're going to mark out the um quarter of an inch right there and then you will use your french curve again you know to connect it back to here i hope i'm clear with that so our jacket is ready to be cut so i'm gonna cut this out and then i will use it to cut my lining also then i'll show you the next step Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut out the my fabric. Now this is for the front and this is the back. I've also cut out the lining. This will be the lining. To put your lining, you're going to get your lining and your fabric right side facing right side make sure the right sides are facing each other you sew here see as I came down here all around also for the neck where I pinned you sew there after sewing that you're going to open up from here from the armhole side So you're going to sew, let me show you again. You have your armhole like this, pin your lining, right side facing each other. We're going to sew here. From the armhole, you sew all the way around to here. Then we'll be turning it using from this armhole, you're gonna turn, you know, put it in through one armhole. Then you have something like this. Okay, so you won't need to you won't uh, when you do it like this then you don't have to hem the you know the edges after you sew your after you sew your jacket together i hope you understood if you don't understand this part please leave a comment down below and i will explain um further so this is for the back one the back has no zip allowance we're going to be splitting open the front so this is the front part all you have to do is uh, split it open because you have an opening in the front okay So this is the front. I'm gonna do the same for the lining.
Okay, so now for the front piece, you're gonna open it up like this. So this is the front. You take your lining. And we'll do the same thing. Right side facing right side. Alright. So we'll do the same thing here, so here. And so the end, then turn it over. So for this one we'll start from here. So all around when you get here then you're going to turn from here so i'm gonna show you um when i do that now the next thing that we're gonna do is cut out the sleeve so i'm gonna put this aside so the sleeve i'm going to be using is going to be like a circle sleeve. What I'm gonna do is uh, this is my daisy cast sleeve. I fold my sleeve, my fabric into four because I want to cut out the front and the back. I'll cut out the front and the back together. Let me make sure that everything matches. So you place your sleeve like this, then you take your basic sleeve, place it on the folded edge like that. So this is my basic sleeve. What I'm going to do is at the end here, because I, this is going to be like a circle. You can also, if you have enough fabric, you can also fold your fabric in a bias, but I don't have enough fabric, so that's why I'm using this method. So, you do, you place your basic sleeve like this. So at that end, you extend it like that, like this. I'm going to be extending it so just a little bit like that. Then from there, we will extend all the way down in a slack manner. So you can use your rod. See on that edge. Go all the way down to your the end of your fabric. Or you can measure how wide you want it at the end. Let me see how much I have here. I have uh, just 11 inches, but if you want it wider, you can go as uh, high as uh, 15 inches or even 20 inches is uh, your choice. But this is uh, 11 inches. So that's the fabric that I'm working with. So that's all you have to do for your sleeve. And then you're gonna cut it off. I also came up here by one and a half inch so because i'm working with a length of 13 inches from here you measure how much you want i'm working there with a length of 15 inches but i'm going to add one inch as in allowance making it 16 inches so that's what i did here so now all i have to do is cut out the fabric after you come up here at the end of the 16 inches, you come up by one and a half inches to slant it further. So that's what I did here. You just slant it to meet this line. And it's ready to be cut out.
past my sleeve. So this is my sleeve. Another way you can also cut your own to flare out like that is if you have your busy sleeve. You're going to use a slashing method. So you're going to divide your basic sleeve into equal parts, depending on how full you want it. After that, you're gonna use your scissors and cut each strip out without cutting all the way here. Then you're gonna place it on your fabric, you know, and spread it out and then redraw it to create your round to be able to come out with the shape that you want. Right, so I'm gonna cut out the lining. This will be also lined with the same lining for the um, for the bodies. Okay. Okay, now for the front piece, before you add your lining, um, you can choose to decorate the, the front um, of your jacket like I'm doing here. I'm using bias uh, tape to do that. So this is the bias uh, tape that I'm using. All right, so what you're gonna do is um, you come here at the edge of the shoulder line like that. So we're making a market, I marked out one inch. I marked one inch of space for each biasa strip that I cut out. So, then you cut out your bias strip. Make sure you, you know, you measure it first before you start cutting it out. Because as you go down, the strips will increase, okay? So, this is the strip, you place it like that. You place it down like this, then pin it down. All right, so I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'll sew at the edge at the very edge like this, making a neat finish. So I'm gonna sew it all around, all of them that I've already pinned. As you can see, as you keep cutting your strip, it's going to keep increasing, okay? So make sure you sew it very neatly. Then after that, then you will place your lining. This is the lining. Remember the um, right side facing right side. You're going to place it. Then you sew from here, from your neckline. You sew from your neckline down, all the way down to the hemline. All the way down to the hemline here. Then you go to the side. Sew it all around to the armhole. Then we'll turn it over. So I'm gonna do that and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have gone ahead and attached the, see, I have attached it and applied, then put the lining. So this is the lining. And you press it very well. Use your iron and press it very well so that everything will be See how neat the lining is. See, this is the lining and we apply it. This is the front. This is the front, and this will be where the opening will be in the front after it's attached to the other one. So I will finish our sewing 
and I will show you how it looks like. Okay, so I finished uh, sewing the jacket and this is how it came out. As you can see, this is the lining. So lined and, you know, neat inside. I also lined the sleeve. This is the sleeve. So this jacket was very easy to make. I made a um, from cutting to sewing, it took me, you know, just two hours to do. Okay. So, let's see there. I will put it on the mannequin and try to start. So this is a, um, the jacket on a mannequin. You can see how it came out. So this jacket was so easy to make. It took me like two hours, you know, to make from cutting to, you know, sewing all of them. And this is the bias strip. I was going to add some rhinestones on it, but I don't have any. But you can also use a rhinestone strip, depending on the fabric that you're using, you know, to decorate the the edges here you know just to make your jacket pop okay so let's see actually this was the first time i made a jacket and it came out really good so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification button um, so you can be notified when I upload new videos and I will be uploading more exciting tutorials um, And I hope you'll be you stay tuned for those All right, so bye for now and I will see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye